one of the things that you know is important about City Mission is it is a ministry that's here 365 days a year. Uh, it's not just Monday through Friday, eight until three. It, it really is 24/7. Brightmore, as most people know, is not a, a great community, but it is a community in transition that is getting better. City Mission is a really strong but a grassroots organization. You could say that they are of the community because they work there, they live there, and they support all the efforts that are going on there. But one of the interesting things about City Mission is that while we were looking at helping the children, they didn't lose sight of helping the, the student or the child, which then helps the family. Four years ago, I was looking around to give back to the community. A friend of mine told me about City Mission, and I was hooked right, right from the get-go, and I've been tutoring ever since, and it's been very, very rewarding. Not everybody's going to be really friendly to you at first. I was actually sitting outside in the rain sometimes picking up the kids because the parents were just not really sure about me. You know, here's this white woman. <laughs> in a pretty predominantly black neighborhood, um, you know, picking up our kids and they just weren't sure about me and I probably would feel the same way. And that changed gradually. Uh, they started uh, trusting me more. Uh, I started talking to them more about, you know, their lives and, and that I was truly uh, invested uh, in doing something for this community. You know, now they remember, we're going to try to do with what inflection, right? We talked about that last time. By helping me break down the words when I'm reading, and she is say a sentence if I can't understand the word and I don't know what it is. Turn is the turn. Let's start out. What is that? There's an exclamation mark there. So how how do you think that has been said? Oh, well, turn. Very, very, very good. There's one place that really understands how memory loss affects your family. The people who work here know what it's like to care for a spouse or parent with Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia. It's Towsley Village, located on the campus of Chelsea Retirement Community, with more than 100 years of experience in senior living, part of a faith-based nonprofit tradition. Towsley Village was one of the first and most innovative places in Michigan to offer care exclusively for seniors with memory loss. It's designed to look and feel like home. Residents live in their own apartments, eat meals in their own neighborhoods, and can enjoy a movie theater, a library, and a cafe among friends. Specially trained professionals treat each resident like a member of their own family. Good evening and welcome to Dateline. I'm Chris Hansen. They litter the landscape, thousands and thousands of abandoned homes. And just like these buildings, Detroit is a shell of its former self. America Now, city of heartbreak and hope. Chris Hansen was standing on the river walk. They never even talked about the river walk. Were there any really inspirational stories involving our young people? What they missed was uh, what we've always argued for, and that is balance. I think it was lazy journalism because, you know, look, you don't have to go far away to see people who are doing well. They had footage and interviews that would have given a more balanced portrait, and for whatever reason, they chose not to use it.
one day I just noticed I had some, some rashes, like if I wouldn't shave over the weekend, uh, hair wouldn't grow in, in certain areas on my face. So I went to the doctor, um, it was a dermatologist, and she said, oh, you know, we'll give you some cream, and, uh, and, and that'll be about it. And after you know a couple weeks, the cream didn't do anything. It was Friday the 13th, I was in the hotel in the morning, and I got a call from the doctor saying, hey, Chris, you know, this is Dr. So-and-so, you need to give me a call back. She said, you know, you've got cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. And I said, well, what does that mean? What's my prognosis? And she basically said, you know, I don't know. I've, I've only seen it in a textbook. And, uh, you know, here's the number for University of Pennsylvania Hospital. And that's it. Click. Uh, Racing for Kids is an uh, international charity founded here in Detroit in 1989. We're in our 21st year. We're headquartered now here in Gross Point Farms. Uh, foundation that we set up, uh, the purpose of it is all about healthy outcomes for sick children. basically is to entertain the children during the day and let them have a good time and then as the parents take their kids around to see the businesses that we have and make money for the racing for kids but it's it's again to showcase our community and members from all over the gross points and hopefully from all over the area come and see what we're all about time for some good news good paying jobs are coming to the motor city and they are not automobile related Galaxy Solutions, a leading IT provider, is announcing plans to open up a new software development facility in downtown Detroit. What we see is a great opportunity. We see people here who are eager to get back to work. We see great infrastructure, a downtown urban area that has all of the elements that urban professionals really prize. A great park in Campus Marshes, great sports teams, restaurants, bars, entertainment, the casinos. These are things that people really enjoy. work for pharmacies, pharmacy benefit managers, pharmaceutical companies, health plans. We work for telecommunications companies. We also work for financial services companies, retail manufacturing companies. It makes you feel real good because it lets you know that uh, you're doing things right. Um, and what we're trying to do in this administration is change the perception uh, that we are open for business. And the mere fact that they're coming here uh, lets us know we're on the right track. Employers, are you looking for trained, qualified workers? The Detroit Michigan Works One-Stop Service Centers are your solution. Our training and screening program can provide you with a workforce with 21st century skills. Don't waste precious time and money seeking qualified workers. The Detroit Michigan Works One-Stop Service Centers are designed to meet your employment and training needs. Contact one of the four One-Stop Service Centers to learn more about our intensive assessment, training, and job placement services.